first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and use the broom to clean up any large debris that's in front of the door. Okay, he's now going to take uh, isopropyl alcohol and shop towels and actually clean the approximate area where we want to install the floor graphic. He's going to select that graphic here that says, please wait here. We're going to place it approximately six inches from the door threshold and center it left to right in the frame. Creating a tape hinge allows you to keep the graphic in place where you wanted it. And yet you can fold it back as you see him doing now. And he's going to actually release the liner on the back. So you can see him separate the two layers there. <clears throat> the weight layer that he's going to actually cut off is the liner that lays over the adhesive backing. He's going to remove that. He's going to select a squeegee tool. He's going to start in the middle and push it towards the door. <clears throat> He's now got his graphic situated exactly where he wants it on the floor. And at this point, he's going to remove the hinge tape. And then he's going to do exactly the same thing on the other side. He's already got it in place. It holds itself to the floor. He pulls the release liner. And then he's going to burnish it down to complete the install. Now he's using a, a fairly hard blue burnisher. <clears throat> you certainly can use a credit card if you have one. You certainly can probably use your hand as this is a very high tack material. It will lay down over a period of time, uh, even if you just push it down with hand pressure and then constant walking over the top of it will embed it even farther onto the surface. And that's it. Thank you, Jose.